Hey guys, so I thought I would film a little video today. I'm guessing some of you know how my one-year-old baby Saskia has been sick recently. Um, she's all, well not all better right now, but she is so much better and we're out of the hospital at home. But I just wanted to explain to you guys what it was she had because I've been getting so many questions about it, like so many. I can't really go through and answer them all, so I thought it'd be easy to just do a video. I know a lot of the people asking questions were mums and they wanted to know like what were the symptoms, like what is it exactly, how did it happen. So I thought I'd just like, yeah, tell you guys like the story and what happened and um, yeah. So basically like over a week ago, Saskia woke up from a nap and I brought her downstairs and I went to go change her nappy and as soon as I put her down on the ground she started like screaming and it was like she was like in pain or something and it was really weird so I immediately knew something was wrong because she's never done that before and then like I picked her up her nappy was like half on because I just started taking it off when I realized like something's not okay with her and I picked her up and I put her to like stand up and she would not stand like she just wouldn't even like try to stand at all so I was like, that's so weird. Like I called Reese and I was like, something's going on with Saskia. Like, I think I need to take her to the doctors like right now. It's like, she can't stand up or anything. And he was like, oh, it's probably nothing. Like she's probably fine. She's probably just grumpy from a nap. And, I'll, and so I put her like on the ground to see if she would like walk to me or anything. And I put her down and she just cried and like, just was like leaning forward with her arms. She wasn't moving towards me, like trying to walk or anything. So I freaked out even more and I picked her up and I was like feeling all her legs and her bones and her like um, feet and just checking all over her body because I thought like maybe she like hurt somewhere or like maybe she had like something in her foot or something like that. So I was just like checking everywhere and she, there was nothing. So I just got in the car and went to the hospital. When I got there, the doctor came and saw her and was like, examining her he was pushing on her stomach and then she like projectile vomited everywhere so he was like okay like maybe that was hurting her like she probably has a stomach bug just take her home and see how you go like see if she keeps she might it might last a while just keep her hydrated give her like little bits of clear fluids and stuff like that so i was like no big deal took her home and thought that she would just like eventually recover like it's a bug she just had to get over just made sure I kept giving her lots of fluids throughout the day when she could hold it down and stuff like that made sure she kept having wet nappies that night she seemed to be in a better mood she was like trying to crawl and stuff even though she wasn't walking she just seemed to be a bit happier so we were like okay she's like getting better and she was holding down fluids by that point and stuff the next morning she was super sick again throwing up straight away again so i was like okay i need to take her back to the doctor because i don't want her to get dehydrated or anything so i took her back to the hospital and i was telling them how like she still couldn't walk or anything and they just explained to me like when you have a stomach bug you're super tired and your body hurts and blah 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 and you don't want to walk so that's what they kept saying but i still i didn't really believe that like i thought it was so weird that she couldn't walk it was like she literally like couldn't i just felt like something else was wrong they reassured me so i was like okay it must be fine yeah we ended up being admitted to hospital so she could be put on a drip just so um usually if you have like a stomach bug and stuff and you put on a drip it helps you recover a little quicker because it gets you really hydrated and blah blah, blah. i don't know so we did that and we were there overnight and then in the morning she was holding down food she ate like banana and some other stuff and she was holding it down and she seemed a lot better so i was like let's go home and they were like yep that's fine like just if she starts getting sick again at home you can always bring her back so we went home and then she had a little nap as soon as we got home and as soon as she woke up her eyes were literally rolling around everywhere and they were like going crossed and stuff so I like almost had a heart attack because I was like what is going on and I thought maybe because she just woke up like her eyes were like adjusting and it's because it was hot and she's sick so I, I called the doctor and I was like this is happening and they were like yeah if you think like 
we're not sure like if you think something's wrong then just bring it back in so her eyes went back to normal at that point so I was like I don't know like what is going on like I was just like freaking out like what the hell is happening to my baby and then um a look like five minutes later it happened again and they were like rolling back and stuff and it wasn't like a seizure or anything she was still like I don't know it was just super strange and her eyes were just yeah kept going all funny so and she still couldn't stand or anything so I put her in the car and I raced back to the hospital I um had my sister was with me at that point and Reese was at home with Wolf so my sister I told her to call my doctor tell him I'm coming back and tell him what was happening and when I spoke to him when I was on the way there he was like yeah that's like you should come in like that sounds a bit odd so we went in and then her eyes weren't really doing it anymore for ages like they were normal when we were seeing the doctor they were like completely normal again and then he like put her on the ground to walk and she like she, like he didn't put her farther enough away from me to actually walk to me he put her like right next to me and she just like kicked off the ground like trying to hop onto me like trying to climb onto me so he was like yeah she looks like she can walk like she just doesn't want to and I at that point I was thinking like no I think she like actually can't walk but I was just like I don't know you trust the doctor so I was like I'm sure like maybe like he's probably right I'm probably just like overreacting but I was telling him about the eye thing and it just wasn't happening anymore like in front of him or anything so he like didn't know what to say about it he was like it just could be because it's hot and she's tired and this and that so basically saying it was like nothing and then we were admitted again because they were like well, well we want to observe her like to see if that keeps happening or what happens like we just want to make sure she's all good but they were like acting like it's probably nothing so then that night like that day she was all right she was in good spirits i think that was new year's eve or maybe the day after new year's eve i'm not sure um but she was in good spirits like she was laughing with me and all that kind of stuff and then that night and then that night um it just was like the most terrifying night for me because she um she just kept vomiting and then she also the eyes started getting worse and worse basically it became like constant like her eyes would not focus on anything they just kept roll like they'd roll up and then flicker back down and then roll up and then flicker back down and sometimes they'll like go inwards and it was just like the scariest thing to watch and I know I knew she was like so uncomfortable and just I just felt so bad for her. yeah so it was really hard for me to watch I was like trying not to freak out I got the nurses to come in to show them it was happening and I also filmed it on my phone in case it stopped so I could show them um, yeah they came in and they saw it and they were like yeah that's really weird and they were like you'll have to wait for the doctor to come see her in the morning and that's when I like broke down like his like crying because I was like I need someone to like see her right now like I was freaking out and I was asking them like no one can come see her right now like blah 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 and they were like, no, you'll have to wait till the morning. Like, she's stable. We'll just see what is tomorrow. So that was a really hard night. I was just, like, cuddling her all night. And it just kept... It was just not... Like, it was just not a good experience for me or her, obviously. Um, and then... Um, and also, she didn't have a fever or anything. A lot of people have asked if she had a fever. She did not have a fever. It was basically the vomiting, the eye rolling, and not being able to walk or balance. And um, so yeah, the the balance issue also got worse. The not being able to walk, she um, she couldn't even sit up at that point. If I tried to make her sit up, she would like shake like this, like wobble. It was almost like vertigo, like she couldn't balance. So the next morning when the doctor came, I was so happy as soon as he got there. I showed him the videos I took because our eyes started doing it on and off again. They weren't doing it constantly. I showed him the videos I took and I told him that she couldn't walk. She couldn't like sit or anything. And then he was like, okay, let's have a look at how she like walks. Let's try and make her walk. So he like took her a bit away from me and like told her to walk to me and she could not walk. Like she just 
physically couldn't walk and he like put her on the ground she like she wanted to come to me but she couldn't call she was just like screaming just wanted me to hold her so after that he was like okay there's definitely something wrong you need to get transferred to another hospital because we were at a private hospital that didn't have a MRI machine so he was like you need to get transferred to a another hospital that has the machine so you can get an MRI so I was like super freaking out at that point but I still I was like everything's gonna be fine like we'll just figure out what it is and it'll be fine like I never thought it would be anything super bad or anything they took us in ambulance to another hospital and then straight away they like shuffled people around so they could fit her in for an MRI and she had her MRI they had to put her under general anesthesia because she's a bit older she would move around and stuff so and they need you to stay still so they put her under and they did an MRI and a spinal tap an MRI is like they wanted to view her brain see um, if there was any tumors any inflammation anything like that and thank god there wasn't there was nothing in the MRI so that was like a huge relief and then um, the spinal tap also it was like a tiny bit abnormal but they weren't too worried they said it was pretty normal after we did that they were just basically running heaps of other tests they did blood tests every day and like all these other tests to try and find out what it was we were in there for about a week in the hospital we started her on antibiotics and antiviral medication just in case it was like certain things like just it could, because there's a few things that are super dangerous if you don't treat it right away so they wanted to treat her for everything in case she had it because they didn't know at that point what she had after a couple of days she was so much better like she was sitting up and she was still wobbly but she was getting so much better and then the day after that she was standing and the day after that she was walking so we were like so stoked so we were like like she's getting better thank goodness and then the doctor um, one of the tests came back and they said it was human metanumovirus which is not like a, a huge scary thing like a lot of people get it it's like um, it can be dangerous for like newborn babies and like really elderly people but it's not usually dangerous for like you or me kind of thing they thought that that had caused a rare complication um, it doesn't usually happen apparently it's not very common apparently it had like something to do with her body fighting off the virus caused her body to like attack itself I don't know it was a lot of information um, basically they said it was cer cere cerebellitis or acute cere cerebellar ataxia the main thing they said it's supposed to be a hundred percent like no long terms like it she's supposed to recover fully like it will be fine so that was the most important thing to me i was like thank goodness it wasn't anything worse she said it was it's like a type of encephalitis of course anything to do with the brain is always really scary then we got to go home and now we've been home for a few days and i'm so happy she she has been a bit up and down on the day that we left the hospital she wasn't able to walk again and that was really scary because i'm like she should be getting better not worse but they said it can take like weeks for it to fully for her to fully recover it's really frustrating because i can tell like she wants to get up and play and she wants to walk and move around and then the next day she couldn't walk at all that day again and then the day after that i which is yesterday um she was crawling so she was getting a little bit better she was seem to be in better spirits as well she's crawling around um she does like this weird like one-legged crawl <laughs> i feel so bad for her but i'm just so glad she's like just seems to be improving every single day and her eyes have gone back to normal completely they haven't had any issues with that and her balance does seem to be a lot better because um today she's been standing up she took a few steps so yeah i hope i answered some of your questions because there were so many and I wanted to answer. And I also just want to say thank you guys for all your love and prayers and support while we were in hospital. So yeah, she's all good at home. Just taking it easy, getting back to normal life, getting back to routine. Um, the doctor said just like, yeah, just try to get back to normal. She was, she's going to be, 
be a bit wobbly, maybe not walking straight away, but she said she should be fine in like a week or so. So anyway, I'm gonna go hang out with my babies. So on the couch with dad watching a movie. We've just had like a relaxing weekend and then it's back to work tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.